Hi folks, it's Keith Beardsley, a Tory zero one here today with another blog, and I think I'm just going to entitle this one, Read No Evil. The inquiry into foreign interference in our elections by the Chinese and supposedly others, but we all know who the real culprits are here, has revealed that Trudeau doesn't read his memos. He disagrees with memos that he's never read, but he doesn't read his memos. He has, quote, oral conversations with staff. What a pile of crap. I can't understand it at various times in my career. I had to have the same security clearance as the head of the FBI, the head of the CIA, the head of uh, MI5 and 6 and so on. So I know that are in those memos. When you get a memo from the Five Eyes, it's an important memo. It only goes to a very select group of people. But the Prime Minister doesn't read his. He allows political staff to summarize, brief them, whatever. Absolutely staggering information when you think some of the things that are in those memos. Now this is a very different style to any of the leaders I worked with. They all read their memos. Most of them would comment on them. We were always asked to provide some input, but they read the actual memo, especially when it comes to intelligence and security issues. But you know, Trudeau's giving himself cover again. I didn't read it, didn't see it, couldn't act on it, didn't know about it. Really unbelievable. Harper, as an example, read all the memos that came to him. He would even initial them at the bottom to show that he had read it. As a matter of fact, on a few occasions, he actually corrected the grammar and spelling in some of the memos that came to him. So, there you go. A very different type of leader. Someone who was actually on the ball and doing his job. Part of whose job is to protect Canadians. Protect Canadians from foreign adversaries. This guy, though, Chinese don't have to worry about him. As long as Trudeau is in power, and you can see why they want to keep him in power, as long as Trudeau is in power, they have nothing to worry about. There's one country that does, though. They have a very long border with us. And if they see their northern border threatened, the U.S. will act. If Donald Trump gets in, he'll act as well. What they'll do, who knows? But they won't sit around and let Trudeau open up that northern border for the Chinese, the Russians, or anyone else. Keep that in mind next time JT is out there smiling and waving and telling you about all the money he's going to spend, your tax money. None of it really is going to our military who's supposed to be defending that northern border, defending that northwest passage. Some leader. You have to say, there's no other like him. Keith, A Tory01, wishing you a great day.